What's up everybody? How you doing? Very sunny day here in the mountains again. Now, yesterday I said that I will film a video this Thursday about how to do the Devon Lord pronationally. But I postponed it next. Saturday. And this video will be about another very interesting topic, which is about how to start arm wrestling as a beginner in one or two ways. In two ways. So, now again, after some water, four bottles of water, with my dog again. There he is. So let's see. The first way is let's say you are a total beginner. You have been training ev nothing, nothing, nothing. You're complete. You will have new games. Let's see. Well. If you are a complete beginner, you must know that there are two things you need to start focusing on. There is gym time and table time. Now, you must focus on each one. Gym time refers to where you're lifting weights or formation back pressure, spination, wrist flexion, etc. And table time is when you're arm wrestling with others for different techniques and you can do simultaneously other things. So now I will pause the video and talk to you more after I take water. Now, let's start first with table time. So, arm wrestle easily. Don't pull at 100% when you are a complete beginner because you can hurt yourself, you can break something. Arm wrestle as much as you can safely and without pain and problems because we must balance table time with gym time and we if we completely destroy ourselves on the table and then rest on one or two days start going in the gym with a ton of pain then you're not going to adapt and grow. We don't need that to happen. You can do it very easily for you. Let's say you go at 60%. Then the timer start and almost with the pros not beginners, they are stupid and they will not guide you to what you truly need no, arm wrestle with the pros these that know how to do it they will give you the best advice oh, let's spell it a little here we've got a ton of blackberries again just like two weeks I collected a ton of them. Now they are even bigger and even more. I think that I'm going to eat a lot of them. Or maybe all of them. That's because they are very healthy and support our recovery. Now, 
the pearls will understand you. They will know that you can defeat them. And it's stupid for them to believe that. They will know that you are a starter. And you must become very efficient. So. Start. Best technique I recommend for everyone. Is the posting top. It offers the less, least chance of injury. Very safe on the elbow. I was stupid. I started with the hook. And that's not a technique you need to start good. I was a supinating deep hooker. That's one of the worst mistakes you can do. So start with the post, go easy, so that you can train in the week, because arm wrestling is a strength. Look at Levan, Sagnashvili. He rarely does table time, but he's extremely strong, and that's what matters. You can start by arm wrestling once a week very easy and yeah forget about competing with them and things like that you shouldn't do that what you should focus on is working your technique and yeah so what you should do start with the post advance in the outside moves and yeah start by increasing the difficulty in your table time because if you arm wrestle a lot you must that arm wrestle become better at arm wrestle that's how it works What can I say? A lot of people are extremely stupid because they tend to think that I need to go 100%. No. Mistake. I don't recommend it. I'm not a pro, but you should take my advice and do something that will help you. Not something that destroys you. No. How I approach that? I arm wrestle once every week. On Mondays. Mm, great. Put a timer. 10 minutes. 10 minutes is all I need. With my friends. Technique, everything. Getting stronger in the gym. Things like that. Getting a better technique every time. If my pronation fails, I train the, my pronation. If my riser fails, I train my riser. Things like that. Seeing where you are mistaking. Don't go for, for very fast hits and things like that, speed, no, 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 easy, 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 you are not in a competition, no, you must do the easy work, and now arm wrestling, it's a very demanding sport. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about gym time. So in the gym, we must do recovery work. What I will truly recommend to all of you is three sessions wake up table 
take a gym time working on pronation back pressure static side pressure external rotation tricep extensions things like that to build a base now we must grow mass so bench presses compounds compounds we must grow we must hypertrophy then start training hard so very light training for the wrist and things like that light to work and get blood blood flow to the tendons ouch something entered in my legs right I'll stop here because I will get stuck in this. Ah. Ouch. Hurt. So, work on your pronation and things like that very easily. Don't go extreme. Just get blood flowing there. After a year, when the tendons will be much, much stronger, you can start implementing. So, you can start implementing one heavy session and things like Or, one moderate session. In the light sessions, do 20 to 30 reps. Never going to failure. No. Mistake again. Failure is not an option. I know that some guys will disagree with me, but it's for the good. Failure is not an option, normally. We must develop. Yeah, three sessions a week of gym time, with one of table time, recover. Work on the antagonist. So if you are a top roller, then go for extension, spination, tricep, external rotation, things like that. If you are a hooker, work on your pronation, everything. Just grow, just develop, become the version that you never been. Now, let's say that you are one that's coming from a sport. So, I came from bodybuilding. I was a bodybuilder for one year and a half. And I discovered arm wrestling and it got me into it. Best sport. Best sport. Now, if you have a little bit of experience, just like me, then go ahead, do one table time again, but in the context of this, you should try to train three times a week again, but one session will be moderate. And now we can implement a little bit of failure. Again, failure on bicep curls, wrist curls, things like that. Hypertrophy. A bigger muscle means a stronger muscle. Due to the volume it has. And see where I'm getting. Or in the table by going a little bit harder than a complete beginner that's because you can you can 100% do it so I do. I'm here again I cross the river there's no more flowers 
خوب تا نه دن جست دید فلاورز بینگ ایت اکسپلودد سو ترین نو لیتس try to recap so one way is coming a complete beginner and one way is a non-complete beginner table time as much as you can it will help you but only if you control your ego if you go 100% in the hook and things like that you can also start with the hook if you do what it needs to be done, then you can start also with hook. Go ahead, try. Don't try the king's move and the flop press. Every kind of press is not good for you. I can't say this in today's video because that's another subject and I will talk about it another day as much as you can go on the table work with your friends invest in a table join a club join a club start learn how to do strap pulling learn how to sleep learn how you can do almost everything then in the gym time there's nothing that universal what works for me doesn't work for you I train a lot of side pressure you can train a lot of side pressure you train a lot of back pressure I don't like training with of back pressure you do you train both of your arms I train only one of my arms yeah then yeah continue now let's talk a bit of about recovery you need to recover if you don't do that get enough protein get enough fats carbs maybe try supplements most recommended supplement is creatine multivitamins get on some maltodextrin if you can 100% will help you these are the supplements I recommend maltodextrin is best because it absorbs very fast very fast digesting carbs in 10 minutes it's done it's in your muscles creatine with energy ATP production multivitamins everybody knows about it yeah I talked about all the things I can show and you can do talk about what technique to do at first What can I say? Be strong. Love armor sling. Yeah, I will turn. No need to go more. So yeah, be strong. Love armor sling. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions. I will answer to all of you very fast. Subscribe if you want. Share with one of your friends if he needs it. Yeah, I forgot to say. Uh, subscribe to my dad's channel if you want. He has bees. That's because his channel got suspended or something he has been done a lot of haters I don't know why what's this 
nah, I won't taste this fruit. So, help him if you want, help me if you want. And one more thing, one more thing. If you want to train at home, invest in a pulley system, a strap and some weights. Maybe a dumbbell is optional. All those things are all you need. Now you can invest in handles like multi spinner, wrist wrench, things like that. I will do a video about my equipment or tour of my home gym, but that's in the future. So, bye and see you.